Can eating fats make you smarter? Well, it depends on how you define smart. In our sugar-loaded world, maybe taking some time off of sweets and excessive refined sugars can do us some good. But stuffing your face in bacon won't be sufficient. It's about eating healthy fats like eggs, avocado, or Greek yogurt that can do the trick. We're here to discuss the magic of fats and if fat-fueled brain is superior in terms of energy, alertness, cognition, and neuroprotection. Can healthy fats really improve your brain health and performance? We'll see. Today we'll check out how sugar compares to fat in terms of fueling the brain for energy. We'll compare the good fats versus the bad fats for your brain. See the potential neuroprotective and anti-inflammatory benefits of eating high fat and low carb diet. And we'll see how fats can actually assist your brain health and performance in such a sugar loaded world. Welcome to my channel. The brain is made up of fat. It's literally the fattiest organ in the body made up of 60% of fats, which are essential for its function and structure. Fats play an important role in regulating the homeostasis of different hormones. They also play a massive role in cognitive function and making all those brain stuff a bit smoother, regulating temperature as well as reproduction, neurotransmitter production, etc. The most popular type of fats considered healthy for your brain are polyunsaturated fats. That's your omega-3s. Sugar versus fat as brain fuel. See, glucose is an essential component of your brain and is an essential form of energy for the brain. You can't run off of glucose. Even if your body doesn't take any glucose, you're gonna make glucose through the process of gluconeogenesis using fats and stored protein. This is why even the ketogenic diet has a bit of glucose in. The problem isn't with glucose, the problem is that excessive carbohydrate consumption, especially refined sugars, lead to brain damage and higher oxidative stress. On the other side, fats are more metabolically efficient, which means per one gram of fat, you produce more energy in a slower manner that creates less free radicals and oxidative damage. This doesn't mean that carbs are bad. Carbs are one of the best sources of fuel for the brain. But in terms of longevity, sometimes taking time off of carbs and fueling more on fats can make the brain more metabolically flexible using fats for fuel while creating less oxidative damage. Shifting to fats can give us a different kind of energy, also known as mental clarity, where you are able to sustain and maintain a certain energy level, level for a longer duration of time where there's no energy crashes. But glucose is essential for brain as it makes it sharp, it makes it easy to memorize things, can uplift your mood and even improve reaction time and attention speed. So neither brain is necessarily superior, it's just they're good for different things. The importance of healthy fats for brain health. See, fats aren't just important as they support cognitive function, but fats make up the structural integrity of your brain. It means they're part of the structure of your brain and nervous system. They help us with neural signaling, they help us create different hormones that enable us to cognitively function, to learn and memorize new things. Aside from that, healthy fats are crucial for the maintenance, regeneration and development of our neural cells, brain and whole nervous system. Healthy fats aren't just a potent source of energy for the brain, they are also crucial in building and maintaining structural integrity. Fat-fueled brain can be more alert, less reactive and experience fewer energy crashes. Fats are also crucial for mediating processes involved in learning, neuroplasticity, brain adaptation and memory. If you're interested about a more in-depth review and you want to look at the science of how fats can impact the brain and what happens on a high-fat, low-carb diet, feel free to check out these articles, you'll see a lot of links, different studies, and you'll look at all the underlying mechanisms behind how fats can actually help, help support cognitive function and brain health. Healthy fat versus unhealthy fat. See, in our industry, there is this overgeneralization labeling fat as either good or bad for your brain. But in reality, fat does never come on its own alone, it comes in combinations. So you have different foods which contain both saturated and unsaturated fat. The general sentiment lies that unsaturated fat is great for your brain, saturated fat is a bit controversial, maybe good, maybe bad, and trans fats are very bad for you and your brain. 
Now, I only really agree with the latest one, and I think there are some myths to be busted that not all saturated fat is bad and not all unsaturated fat is good. To give you a few food examples, like probably what's better for your brain is to eat avocado, Greek yogurt, walnuts, and grass-fed beef and butter instead of eating a deep-fried pumpkin cake or a ton of bacon or frozen pizzas, donuts, and margarine, okay? Saturated versus unsaturated fat. Now, my belief is that not all saturated fat is bad. There are certain foods like grass-fed beef and butter, eggs, nuts, pork and lamb that are very high and potent source of bioavailable protein, have great amino acid combination and different essential nutrients, especially healthy fats. On the other side, I also believe that not all unsaturated fat is good, as some vegetable oils like canola, safflower, and sunflower oil can turn rancid pretty fast and cause higher oxidative damage. Now, the thing I agree with most is that trans fats is bad, and this is your, again, donuts, pizzas, uh, frozen pastry, and quick uh, deep-fried french fries and stuff like this that can increase DNA damage. Eating more unsaturated fatty foods rich in omega-3 supports brain function and reduces inflammation. Some saturated fat can also be beneficial as it makes up the structural integrity of the brain and is needed for hormone synthesis. These are your grass-fed beef, eggs, butter, coconut oil, nuts, and dark chocolate. Brain aging, neurodegeneration, and neuroprotection. What role do fats play in this? See, as we go through life, as we age, the ability of our brain to regenerate and fight oxidative stress declines. So does our cognition, which is normal to a certain degree. But excessive carbohydrates can accelerate this neurodegenerative process, while healthy fats can actually reduce inflammation. The way healthy fats can exert neuroprotective properties are two. And it's very simple. First, by improving cognitive function, you are training your brain to learn and memorize new things, which is just as if you were to train your muscle, it would atrophy slower, so your brain won't shrink as fast. The second thing is due to its anti-inflammatory effects, healthy fats, especially omega-3, have been shown to potentially exert some neuroprotective effects. Some of the reasoning behind incorporating more healthy fats in one's diet is to preserve the brain's ability to fight inflammation. Reduce the risk of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease is associated with a higher intake of omega-3 fatty acids. EPA, DHA, and DPA have all important roles in brain function. Research shows that EPA and DHA deficit is linked to neurodegenerative diseases. Alertness, mental clarity, and focus. How does keto compare to glucose? See, when you run on fats and low carbs, your brain gets a different kind of energy that's easier to sustain and maintain for a longer duration of time, but it ain't as fast and acute. This means less energy crashes. This happens due to the brain's improved ability to handle glutamate, an excitatory neurotransmitter, and also increases GABA, which is making you more calm, relaxed, and alert more alert and less hyper excitated. Also, fueling on fats and having less carbohydrates, as we've said, produces less free radicals and can also improve mitochondrial biogenesis, which is fancy way of saying increasing the number of mitochondria, which can help us produce more ATP using oxygen. In people with mild cognitive impairment, the keto diet enhanced cognitive function partially due to an improved energy metabolism and its anti-inflammatory properties best nutrients for brain health. I believe there are three nutrients that are especially important for supporting cognitive function and the structural integrity of the brain. And these are omega-3, choline, which helps reduce acetylcholine, and B-complex. Let me explain. So omega-3s we've already covered, they're anti-inflammatory and provide a neural structure for our brain, supporting cognition and brain health. This is what you find in avocado, salmon, walnuts, and olive oil. On the other side, there's choline, which is especially important for production of acetylcholine, an important neurotransmitter that helps us learn and memorize things and just makes all this brain stuff and cognitive function smoother as it allows us to better signal between our neurons. Last but not least is B-complex. This is the whole area of B vitamins, but especially B3, B6 and B9 vitamins, which are crucial for the development of your nervous system, especially in younger ages, but also can improve the production of energy or the generation of ATP, improving how you turn your food into energy as brain fuel. 
The richest source of choline are eggs, specifically egg yolks. Choline is also found in cottage cheese, fish, organ meats, and milk. The best sources of omega-3 are fish and seafood, olive oil, salmon, and avocado. B vitamins are present in animal products like chicken, turkey, cheese, eggs, beef, organ meats, and leafy greens. So, to conclude it all, we have five last bullet points. First is that fats make up your brain structure and help you cognitively function. Second is that omega-3s are potent anti-inflammatories and can exert neuroprotective properties. Third one is that healthy fats can ward off neurodegeneration and potentially protect and save the brain and increase its longevity. Fourth is that fats are actually secondary source of fuel for the brain, glucose being the primary one, and fats can enable you to increase mental clarity, alertness, and be more calm and have a sustainable energy. Last but not least is that not all unsaturated fats are good, like canola, safflower, and sunflower oil, while not all saturated fat are necessarily bad, like the grass-fed meat, butter, eggs, nuts, etc. Thank you for watching again, and I guess I'll see you in the next one.